Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 617. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 615 to 622. Hey, in this video here, um, we want to talk about fiscal years that don't end on December 31st, for example, 7-1-2008 to 6-30-2009. We want to do year over year, uh, summarize the yearly sales for this uh, non standard uh, fiscal year and then do year over year calculation. Now I did a bunch of videos 610 to 614 or over all sorts of variations and problems with calculating year over year. This is uh, uh, another one. Fiscal year not ending December 31st. Now just back in 615 we saw a solution and I showed a sum if and a sum product. Whenever you have the choice, you should be using sum if or if you have 2007 or 2010, use the sum ifs function. And the reason why sum if and sum ifs are better than sum product or sum array or uh, database functions, if you can use those, is because it calculates faster. All right, so we're going to use sum ifs. I'll show you sum product too, just in case you don't have uh, the latest version. By the way, I'm using 2010. It just rules endlessly. You got to get it. Amazing. All right, sum range. Uh, we're, we're summing sales. Just we have a unusual fiscal year, so I'm going to highlight for the sum range that cell. Control Shift Down Arrow and F4 to lock it. Comma. Now, fiscal year that ends. Um, because we could use, in, in, in some of these videos here, we use the year function. It was easy to extract all the 2009s or all the 2010s. But here we have two criteria. We have a lower, a lower date and an upper date. Remember, dates are serial numbers, number of days since uh, December 31st, 1899. So a later date is always a bigger number. So there's our lower and upper bounds to, to get a true or false in this date category. So our criteria range, the first one's going to be this, Control Shift Down Arrow F4, comma, and the criteria 1 matched with this range right here. Now we need greater than or equal to this, so I'm going to in double quotes, greater than or equal, in double quotes, ampersand to join the operator with the actual number. Now we want to see on the surface, we want to see the date and be able to change this if we want, right? So we put it there, but the formula is if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, it's looking at the underlying number. Control Z. All right, comma. I'm just going to highlight this right here because the second criteria range, Control V, is the same exact date range. So our criteria two is going to be double quotes, less than or equal to, and double quotes, ampersand, shift seven, that's a join symbol, and this. Close parentheses. Wow, that's a great formula. Control Enter, copy, and I'm going to click right here because it's looking at the dates right there. Control V, right? So you build a template like this with uh, formulas, operator, ampersand there. Then you could put whatever dates, right? Um, you have 10. Uh, uh, ranges you want to do. You don't have to type the criterion um, individually. All right, uh, year over year change, pretty easy, equals whatever we started with. In this case, we're going to get zero, but divided divided by um, this. So this will give us um, uh, a zero change, but right now I want to lock this because I actually want to copy and paste this over here so these cell references are looking here. I'm going to lock it um, with a column reference, but not the row. Now, this will give us what? This will give us one, so you subtract one. Copy and paste, and now we can see the year over year change is 0.28154. You can see now that works just fine. Now, I did it that way, so we can uh, get a divide by zero there error there. Um, I'll control Z. I'll copy that down in just a moment. Now let's do some products. Remember, if you're not using some, if you have 2007 and 2010, and you're worried about calculation speed in your um, spreadsheets, and you're not using some ifs, uh, you you should. It takes a little bit getting used to. If you're used to doing some product or something else, you know you have to get used to joining this like that, all that kind of stuff. But get used to it because it's faster calculating. Some product. 
it's very similar and we will see we can compare and contrast we need the same three uh, ranges but it's going to be with we're going to create our own trues and falses instead of putting the criteria separate into an argument first array well I'm just going to do the same column right here control shift down now F4 to lock it and I'm going to say notice no ampersand just greater than or equal to and you click on the cell now that's going to give us a bunch of trues and falses right F9 but we don't want those we want ones and zeros because we're going to have to multiply true and false for this true and false for this times this whole column and then whatever there's a one times a one times the number the sum product will add so we need to convert these to uh, ones and zeros so we do that with double negative there's lots of ways to convert trues and falses to ones and zero. You could multiply, divide by one, etc. But that's the fastest calculating. Now I'm going to highlight this whole little piece right here. Control C, comma, Control V, and then I'm going to change this. I'm going to say less than or equal to. Oh, did yeah, less than or equal to the upper date. So we got that, the second array of trues and falses. And if we were to highlight all this and hit the F9 key, uh, it's not going to calculate. But you could do this one right here individually. Whoop, F9. You see it's a bunch of uh, ones and zeros. Control Z. Same with that one. The uh, only one there's a one and a, uh, a, a one here, will it get the, the true? for both. Now the third array, simply this, control shift down arrow F4, close parentheses, uh, and then control enter. C copy, paste, and then I'm going to double click and send this down, double click and send this down. We get the same answer there, but uh, that is the sum product method for summarizing phys f fiscal years not ending December 31st. Uh, there's the formula for whatever the percentage change year over year. And uh, there is some ifs, the beautiful new some ifs. All right, we'll see you next trick.